Hello, my name's Emma. I'm an illustrator based in Sheffield and these are my daily-ish vlogs. Come and get ready with me for a Zoom drawing club session that I'm hosting today. Oh. Forgive my washing on the radiator. This morning it was a beautiful sunny day so I washed my bed sheets and now it's not. But luckily it's super windy today so at least they got partly dry before the rain started but you're just gonna have to live with them in the background just for a little while so if you're new to the channel the first thing you should know about me is uh, i'm an illustrator that works from home uh, i also have a small business called embers and ink in fact it's some stickers that i'm going to stick up some product up with later later uh, I'm a small business and I sell plastic free illustrations like illustrated gifts and stuff like that but also I'm an illustrator and I'm working on getting an agent this year and also I'm working on a bunch of children's book ideas uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing in the next like well in the in the foreseeable future so if that sounds like your kind of thing you're welcome to stay and watch my journey if you are going to stay it might be worth hitting the subscribe button because then you won't miss me and then you'll be helping me reach more lovely people just like you. So not only do I host this drawing session on Zoom, I also join in. Uh, this month we're going to be drawing butterflies and moths because it's like that kind of year now, isn't it? You're gonna start seeing more butterflies around. It felt right. Uh, so I'm just getting my desk set up so I can join in with people. I'll probably join in in my big sketchbook, so it'll be this one. This is my big A3 sketchbook. I use big A3 sketchbooks for um, like messy studio work. So that's, if it's, the, if it's the bill, basically. So I'm just gonna get my keyboard and mouse set up and then I'm just gonna run through the slideshow one more time just to make sure it fits within the time scale. I love these drawing sessions, even though I do a lot of observational sketching, which I normally do in my smaller sketchbooks, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, even though I do a lot of observational sketching on my own and sometimes with friends, it's really nice to have something in the calendar every month where I know other people are on the other side of that screen and I know we're all drawing the same things. I don't know, it feels like some wonderful accountability where, um, I don't know, it's kind of validating to know that um, other people are drawing along with me and I don't know, it can be a little bit, running your own business from home uh, or working from home can be a bit isolating sometimes and just to know there are people out there who have the same interests as you, who also want to practice drawing as well, who are willing to join in at the same time is really nice. So uh, I really like them anyway, even though I do get a lot of sketching in without this. Um, if you're interested, by the way, in joining in these drawing clubs, so joining in the Scribbles Allowed drawing clubs, which is a drawing club, if you haven't guessed by the name, where Scribbles are 100% allowed, you're very welcome to join in if you want to. So it's a reward on my Patreon, but my Patreon tiers start at a pound and I've kept the tiers low on purpose because I don't think that things like this, like lives, live drawing Zooms where we get together and, and do drawings all together, and practice our skills, I don't think they should be just available to people who have a bunch of money. Now I do realise, I say this all the time and I really mean it, I do realise that everyone's budgets are different 
so even though a pound for me is the lowest I can I can make it that might not be in your budget so that's completely fine if you don't ever want to join in that's fine um, some things that you should know though are Patreon's really flexible you can just join for one month if you want to so just for a pound and then cancel your membership you can become a free member on my Patreon and I do free resources over on there and then you can jump back in to Patreon whenever you want if you decide to so it's, it, it's really easy to kind of keep within your budgets if you are interested. Another thing to know is that for the one pound membership you don't just get access to this session because I record all the sessions you get instant access to all of the recordings that we've ever done. Let me just count how many that is. Uh, so it's April 2024 now so let me have a look in the recordings drawing session recordings there are 13 in there now no they can't be 13 we've done 13 one two three four five oh some of them are the resources uh six seven eight nine ten 11, 11 and tonight's will be 12. Uh, you get instant access to those 12 or there'll be more maybe if you're watching this in the future recordings of our drawing sessions for you to instantly access. So lots of drawing stuff for your £1 membership and if you do become a member and then you decide to cancel it because of whatever reason whenever you join back in you'll have access to the recordings of the sessions that happened in your absence. So it's it's something that you can dip in and out of you know don't worry about about doing that if you need to cancel that's fine and we'll be waiting here for you whenever you want to jump back in also on that one pound tier you get access to sketchbook tours that i do every month of my observational sketchbooks i've got last month's here on the table uh from the filming of these sketchbooks so i film those as a flick through so you can have a look through my sketchbooks uh, that are everything that I do observationally so it doesn't involve like project work and studio time unless it's observational sketching uh, but all the observational sketchbooks which I think is really interesting and really useful I really like looking through people's sketchbooks and I think for the longest time I didn't really know how to use a sketchbook and I've got a video about this I'll try and link it up here somewhere if it's not up here it'll be in the video description uh, where I compared, I did a, like a mini studio, uh, sketchbook tour, um, where I compared one month of my 2023 kind of uh, observational sketching journey where I didn't make any, I didn't design any products in my shop, didn't do anything but observationally sketch when I was drawing. Uh, so that video will show you a month of sketchbooks from then and then all of my sketchbooks before 2023. And I don't know, go and watch it. I think you can definitely see that I didn't know how to use a sketchbook. I either did perfect pictures in the sketchbook, perfectly finished uh, detailed pictures or nothing at all, <laughs> very little in between. But now I use sketchbooks as a place, you know, to learn and grow and develop, develop my practice. And I do that through timed sketches, which is what we do in these live sessions. So to get a lot of images drawn in these live drawing sessions with the Scribbles Allowed Drawing Club, I do t we do timed ske sketches and this session actually has got some really tricky 30 second sketches in there as well so we've got a bunch of 30 second sketches a bunch of one second sketchy um, one second one minute sketches three minutes five minutes and time sketches was really for me anyway it'll be different for everyone but for me it was the key to getting closer to my handwriting version of my drawing which is my style because it put a book that the timing element put a buffer in between me and feeling disappointed at the end result because I mean if it was a scribbly mess there's a reason it was a scribbly mess I was drawing it in 30 seconds so it enabled me to get a lot of sketching done without that self-critique if you know what I mean I have actually also I've got another video I'll try and link it up here again I don't know if I'll be able to it'll be in the video description if not uh, where I've done a little walkthrough of time sketching so if you want to have a look if you want to have a go at time sketching have a look at that video it's on YouTube it's a free video and I do time sketching along with you so I'll do the timer you can choose something to draw and we'll 
will follow the same time basically so go and have a look at that as well if you're if you're interested in trying out time sketching and seeing what it's all about anyway so i'm just going to go through my slideshow and make sure all the pictures load up <laughs> which sometimes they don't uh, and make sure that everything fits in the timer yeah and then i'll talk through the format of these drawing sessions in case you're interested So the way the sessions work is I share my screen and I've already compiled a load of images for us to draw. Uh, so I'll share my screen on Zoom and I'll set the timer. All the people who are joining in need to do is bring something to draw with and something to draw on and I'll do the rest. So if you've got your sound on, I'll tell you when the countdown is for the next image and I'll move all the images along. Also, these sessions last like 40 minutes. Sometimes Zoom cuts me off a little bit early, but um, we're normally on the last slide by then. And as I say, all of these sessions are recorded. And what I've started doing now, I've started adding with the recording, when I put the recording up, I'll add all of the images to a printable PDF. So you can either work through them on the computer or you can print them and do them in your own time. Sorry, my cat is in my drawing bag doing so yeah you can either draw them in time sketches by pressing play on the recording and doing it in like real time or you can draw them in your own time either by printing them out or working through them on the computer however you work best so that also is a thing that happens so if time sketches really aren't your thing you can use them as an exercise during the live sessions or you can work through the images at your own pace at your own pace uh, with the recording. In these sessions, I like to have a lot of materials to hand because uh, sometimes the things that you think are gonna draw really well, really well quickly, don't. And you might need something that just like splodges stuff down. Charcoals are really good to work with, I find. Paint sticks are also really good to work with. These were gifted to me and they're really nice and splodgy. It's like a bunch of, it's like a lipstick. Uh, it's just a bunch of paint in a tube. I also like big fat crayons. These are the Stabilo Woodies. I also like these watercolour brush pens. They're refillable, which is even better. So there's the brush. They're good at just like laying a load of colour down. I've also got a bunch of pencils and pencil sharpener, which I unfortunately broke the other day trying to get a trying to get a broken nib out from inside there. I banged it against the table and forgot that it was held together by a flimsy piece of plastic. But I've got my pencil sharpener ready anyway. Plus a pencil extender, because a lot of my pencils get small very quickly. So this is a good way to lengthen the life of your pencil, which as well as, well as just the pencil. Uh, so lengthen your pencil and the life of your pencil with a pencil extender. Uh, I've also got some water brushes with inks in. So I've got a blue, pink and a red. And these water brushes are great. You can either put just water in them, like I've got some here with just water in, and you can take them out in your sketch bag and it saves you having to take like a tub of water if you're going to paint. So if you've got like a, a watercolour palette or something, you can use these instead of a brush and a tub of water. It's just a brush and a tub of water in one. And you kind of squeeze it as you apply it and then uh, jobs are good. Uh, I'm also going to bring, not bring, I'm going to keep on my desk these, this little tub of Neocolor 2 crayons. So these are just um, water soluble crayons. So it's the Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2s, not the Neocolor 1s. If you're looking for a water soluble crayon, look for the Neocolor 2s, because the Neocolor 1s are just normal wax crayons and they're not water soluble. So you can use those as a crayon or you can use your water brushes. Uh, and dab on the back of them and use it like a watercolour. So that puts a lot of colour down quickly. I'm going to also get my pastels out because pastels are a really quick way of getting, getting, I don't know what happened there, uh, they're a really quick way of getting colour down on the page quickly. And I do love, I, I, I do love working in pastels.
So that's that for getting prepped. I've got like an hour and a half until it starts. If you ever do want to join in, by the way, it's, by the time this video goes out, it's going to be too late for you to join this session live. But um, like I said, all sessions are recorded. So if you were wanting to join, join in this Butterflies and Moths session, uh, if you signed up on my Patreon on any tier, then you will get access to the recording of this. So there is a point to me recording this for you. So if you are interested in drawing butterflies and moths, and also last month we did bicycles, which was really good because I find bicycles really tricky. Uh, yeah, you're very welcome to come and join in. And remember, it's dead flexible. So I've got an hour and a half until that starts. I've already scheduled the reminder that gets posted out half an hour before the session starts. Because if you're anything like me, you're you're likely to forget about the session. So I always send a reminder out half an hour before. Um, so I think that's all good to go. I've got my materials here. I'm going to go and chill out for a tiny bit and uh, then I'll be back and I'm going to set you up and I'm going to film what I draw for you. So there we have it. I'm at the other side. Uh, it was a lovely session. Lovely to see people uh, joining me live. If you're watching this and you did join me live, thank you very much. Um, and if you can't join me live, don't worry. I know that time zones and stuff get in the way in life. Right, I'm going to turn my screen around. I know you've just seen it, but I'm going to turn the screen around and I'm going to show you what I got up to. So these are my 30 second and maybe some one minute efforts. I like working in the big sketchbook. It gives you lots of space to kind of just, you know, make a mess. So rather than feeling like you've got to be really little and tiny and precise, just get some big materials out and throw some colours around. I mainly worked in pastel. Um, these ones are pencil, uh, but the rest of them are pastel. And it seemed to work quite well for getting a lot of colours out. This one is lovely. I'm, I'm pleased with that one. I'm pleased with all of them, actually. Uh, this one, the colours kind of, it was a black and white one and it confused me. I didn't know how to get the white on there. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got. And that's the last one. Um, the, and there were some more on there that I didn't draw because I was, I was getting messier and messier hands, which I've cleaned now. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with how it went. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what goes on behind the scenes hosting a drawing Zoom session. If you ever wanted to join in these drawing Zooms, you are very much welcome. Just head to patreon.com forward slash Emma Woodthorpe, that's me, and sign up on any, any paid tier will get you access. If you don't want to sign up on a paid tier, you can always follow me for free over there. I do put free content up there. The free content is mainly these videos, but also if I ever hear of any like illustration opportunities, you know, any publishers with open calls for submissions or competitions, stuff like that, I share them on my Patreon and I share them for free. So if you are an illustrator and you want to kind of, you know, um, have somewhere else that, that keeps you in the loop with competitions and opportunities and stuff, it might be worth following, following me for free over there. No obligation, but uh, like I say, whenever I hear anything, um, about competitions and stuff I, I pop, pop it up there for free so that's that's something else even if you don't want to join in for these uh, live zoom drawing sessions which I mean why wouldn't you but if you don't want to do that that's fine and there's other stuff on there for free if you wanted to do that instead so this is where I'm going to leave this video because my desk needs a tidy and I need to edit this for you so uh, you'll catch me in the next one so until then bye